We all know that running a successful business means having a professional website. It's non-negotiable, but the real challenge isn't knowing you need one. It's figuring out the best way to actually build it without pulling your hair out. If you want to run a successful business, you literally need to have a website. And there are so many options to set one up. So today we will see if Wix is a good way to go, or if you'll need to look in some other direction to help you build your website. I'll tell you about my experience using Wix, how it works, what the pros and cons really are, how much it costs, and how it compares to other companies in this space. Now, I should also mention that once you create your website on Wix, you can't migrate it to another web hosting service. So just make sure that you'll be happy with Wix before you fully commit to it. Now, I'll go over some of the things that you'll need to be aware of so you can make your decision. So Wix, it's the biggest website building platform with more than 250 million users across 190 countries. And when it comes to website hosting platforms, size really does matter. You don't want the company that's hosting your website to fail and take your website down with it. And for those of you who don't know much about Wix, their website building platform designed specifically for people who do not have coding skills and want to be able to create and maintain a website without much experience. You start by picking a domain name and a hosting package. You can choose from up to four different plans. The hosting is all done in the cloud, so there's no software to download and you can manage your website from anywhere in the world. And I found that building and designing websites especially for those of you with, let's just say, not a large amount of website building experience, is kind of fun and relatively straightforward. They have a giant app store with thousands of plugins and tools to choose from to make your website look and feel more legit. Everything you need to make and maintain your website is included in the subscription. So let's take a look at their plans, their pricing, and what features are included in that monthly fee. Okay, so to start, they do give you the option to build a limited free website with a small amount of bandwidth. The downside is that they leave Wix's branding all over the website itself. And an address will use the Wix domain It'll be something like www.website.wix.com, right? And it might work for you if you're holding a party or celebrating some kind of one-off event, but it's a good way to test out their features if you don't want to pay for it quite yet. But for most standard websites, you don't want that Wix branding or their name in your domain. It just comes off as really unprofessional. So let's talk about their paid plans. There are four plans ranging from $17 to about $160 Per month, and all of which come with a 14 day free trial. Now, the most affordable plan is called the Light Plan. Like I said, it's 17 bucks a month if you pay ahead of time for a full year. And it's ideal for personal users. Like, for instance, if you want to create an online resume or a portfolio or a blog. And as with any of the paid plans, you won't have to deal with Wix's branding on your website. And they even throw in a free custom domain for a year. You get an SSL certificate that keeps sensitive data like passwords and personal info secure. The Light Plan gives you up to two gigs of storage and up to 30 minutes of video on your website so you can showcase your work. But if you're expecting more visitors or higher traffic to your site, then I suggest you upgrade to the core plan. So the core plan, it unlocks some of the e-commerce features that make Wix worthwhile for businesses. It's a great choice for nonprofits because they get a 70% discount for two years to create and host one website, but it's also great for small business owners and freelancers who want to engage with customers. And at 29 bucks a month, if you pay ahead for the year, Year, you get all the features of the light plan, but instead of two gigs of storage, you get up to 50 gigs and up to five hours of video instead of 30 minutes. You also get access to simple e-commerce functions and some pretty cool marketing tools. Customers are able to log into your site and create accounts, and you get an events calendar and free use of the Wix site booster app for a year. The booster, it makes sure that your website shows up on the front page of Google and other major search engines in your keyword. You also get to design your own professional logo that can be downloaded for you. But if you're already a business that wants to create a proper online shop, you might want to consider Wix's business plan. At 39 bucks a month, if you pay ahead for the year, it might be the way to go. And this is actually the plan that we went with. You get everything you'll need to set up and run a successful, hopefully, e-commerce website. Plus, you get 100 gigs of storage space and up to 10 hours of video. You can go to the App Store to add premium apps like Wix Bookings or Wix Hotels. And you also have access to a ton of useful marketing and SEO tools. But for bigger businesses, that need unlimited storage and video streaming capacity, the Business Elite plan is about 160 bucks a month. And you get priority customer care. But honestly, for most websites that are going to be dealing with regular traffic, the simpler plans will be plenty. The Business Elite is really only meant for websites that plan to see a bunch of traffic, which, you know, hopefully you can grow into. 
Now, if you do decide to try out Wix, you can use the affiliate link down in the description. It doesn't cost you anything extra. We might earn a small commission on it though, and it really helps support the channel. And sometimes we're able to include special deals there that you won't find if you go straight to their site. Now, let's talk about the experience because it was actually pretty smooth for me. The fun part really starts when you design your website and you get to choose from over 800 templates that you can customize with Wix's really intuitive AI and easy to use tools. And there are lots of tutorials out there that'll help you if you've never made a website before, especially on Wix, but the downside of using a template is that once you design your website with one, you really can't go back and change it very easily. So choose carefully because unless you're willing to do a lot of extra legwork, that's what you got to live with. Also, while testing, I did find a few themes that not all the templates are fully responsive with. And I also saw some complaints that they don't always display properly on mobile formats. I personally just designed my own using the drag and drop editor, which is very easy to use. It takes a little bit longer, but I felt like it was a more personalized website. Okay, so from all the features that Wix has to offer, I found the drag and drop editor to be the most intuitive and enjoyable to use. But there are other more advanced options, like the Velo dev mode for developers to add custom JavaScript or Editor X if you want to add CSS grid layouts or a more responsive design. And finally, Wix has even more editing features that you might not need when you start out, but it's good to know that they're there in case you need them down the line. So once the design and content are all set up, you can start adding features and functions by choosing add-ons from a huge catalog of widgets and business tools. Now, if you're looking to get your own custom business email, you'll need to add a Google Workspace plan that'll cost another seven bucks a month to get email addresses and access to all of Google's online tools. And in terms of support, with all of Wix's paid plans, you get 24 seven customer support, and there really are great tutorials to guide you if you ever need them. So how does Wix compare to other similar services? Well, I've used both Wix and Squarespace, and they offer the same basic service. But if you're completely new to building a website, then Squarespace might suit you a little bit better, just because they only have one editor and fewer options for customization. I prefer having more options, which is why I went with Wix, that said, Squarespace offers less customization and is therefore a bit easier to use. And its templates are 100% mobile responsive, which as I mentioned, isn't always the case with Wix. But like I said, Wix has more features, better e-commerce functions, more templates, and more options to integrate extra features. And even on pricing, Wix is also cheaper. So bottom line is that with more website features and add-ons than a lot of other platforms out there, plus the amount of great customizable templates and excellent e-commerce solutions, Wix is just about the best all-around option to build a website, and it's easy enough for a complete beginner to use. Whether you want to showcase your professional skills, start an online store, or build a thriving internet kingdom, Wix has you covered. And that's it for this video. I really hope you found it helpful, and if you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews like this. And again, if you want to try Wix, you can use that affiliate link below in the description. It won't cost you anything, and sometimes we offer special deals that you won't find on their website. Also, if you're interested in working with us or sponsoring a future video, just reach out using the email in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I'll do my best to reply as soon as I can. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.